Credible researchers now say that as many as 60 different species of intelligent, superconscious beings have been interacting with humanity for millions of years. Physically, they, they look, they're humanoid. Their skin is as white as a piece of paper. Throughout much of their adult life, they're the same height that I am, 5'11", 6 feet tall. Their eyes are perhaps twice as large as ours. They're typically blue eyes with white pupils. Although when they, when they get older, especially the men, their eyes take on a pink shade. Their eyes stretch further around the sides of their head than human eyes do. And their, their ears and their nose are only about half the size of human ears and noses. And their ears lay back along the side of their head more than a human does. They have, their lips are not as prominent as humans, and they don't have teeth, they just have ridges, because they're plant eaters, they don't eat meat. How can we know for sure exactly how many extraterrestrial races are visiting us or interacting with humanity? I mean, there are different sources um, disclosing some of that information. I found of the CIA is John Lear, and he talks about uh, over 60 races that are visiting the Earth. On one night, I saw between 200 and 300 different tall, white individuals. There were so many I couldn't count them. Uh, lined up along the mountains to the east of, uh, up along where the ammunition bunker was. Uh, on the night that the tall, white lady known as Pamela was supposed to finish her um, <laughs> final exam to be head of the t technology transfer team to go into Livermore. In amongst those two or three hundred tall whites, and that's just an estimate because I, I, I couldn't, there, it was a crowd of people and I couldn't count them all. There were also American Air Force personnel, uh, um, nobody below the rank of colonel. There, were, there was like a four-star general, a three-star general, there were several of them. There were also several American government people in civilian clothing over there. Could it be possible that our universe is not only immense, but that it is full of life, and that there is a great diversity of this life spread throughout our own local galaxy and even our solar system? Equally outstanding is the recent revelation by the government of Brazil of their intent to turn over the official UFO files dating back to as early as 1954 to the people of Brazil. They were going to suggest to the American generals additional technology exchange projects and I think they were using me as the test guinea pig to take me on board the scout craft and then they could test my reaction to what, what I was impressed with and what I wasn't with.